Published, 1410 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 23rd of March 2018, updated, 533 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 24th of March 2018 Arnaud Beltrame, pictured, was seriously wounded after agreeing to take the place of a female hostage during a terrifying standoff. He later died in hospital a French policeman who was shot by an ISIS fanatic in a supermarket siege after agreeing to take the place of a female hostage has died in hospital. Arnaud Beltrame was gunned down after rushing to the site of the rampage in the southwest town of Trebes. Beltrame, who once served in Iraq, was well versed in the scenario he found himself in, having taken part in an exercise which replicated the scenario of a mass killing in a supermarket in nearby Carcassonne. Just four months ago, the 45-year-old was among the group of officers first to arrive at the Super U store, where the ISIS-linked terrorist fired on shoppers and staff before taking them hostage. Sixteen people were wounded, too seriously, along with the three killed in the shooting spree, President Emmanuel Macron said in a televised address. A SWAT team officer was among those hurt as the operation to kill the gunman unfolded and Beltrame was the fourth fatality of the attack, Jose Luis Carnero, Secretary of State for Portuguese Communities Abroad, confirmed a Portuguese national was among the four dead after the terror attack. But Renato Silva, 27, from Coimbra north of Lisbon, is still alive in hospital in Perpignan. Relatives told media in his native city he was in an induced coma after being shot in the eye. Mr. Silva was the driver of the white Opal car the terrorist hijacked. The passenger died. He is understood to have been living in France for around two years after completing university studies in Coimbra. Carnero blamed the gaffe on an error of communication between authorities in France tasked to deal with the attack. 45-year-old Beltrame, pictured, was knighted the Legion of Honor in May 2012. Beltrame was a hero. Lieutenant Colonel who was knighted the Legion of Honor in May 2012, he volunteered to take the place of the other hostages and has been very seriously wounded, said Macron before his tragic death. Macron added, Our country has suffered an Islamist terrorist attack. The man, identified as 25-year-old Redouan Lakhim, shot dead two people at the supermarket after earlier opening fire on passengers in a car, killing one, and injuring a police officer in nearby Carcassonne. Redouan Lakhim, 25, pictured, shot dead two people at the supermarket after earlier opening fire on passengers in a car, killing one, and injuring a police officer in nearby Carcassonne. Speaking at the scene, Interior Minister Gerard Colum said police engaged the gunman soon after the start of the siege at around 11 a.m. Colum praised Beltrame for his courage and active heroism. They managed to get some of the people out, he said. But the attacker kept one female hostage back to use as a human shield. It was then that Beltrame, a senior officer, offered to take the woman's place. After entering the supermarket he remained Lakhim's hostage while tense negotiations continued. He left his telephone on the table to allow police that had surrounded the building in the sleepy town of 5,000 inhabitants listen in, Colum said. Through that phone, police heard gunshots inside the building and decided that elite forces had to storm the market, killing Lakhim. When we heard shots the gig in, France's elite police force intervened, the minister said, adding that the policeman was seriously injured. An ISIS fanatic has been shot dead by police in France after he killed three people in a gun rampage and supermarket hostage siege. Police are pictured in the supermarket car park after the terrorist was killed. Police are pictured outside the supermarket after the gunman was killed during the standoff. The public prosecutor of Paris, Francois Molins, spoke from Carcassonne. Highlighting the man's heroism, I wish to underline the heroism of the lieutenant colonel who, at the risk of his life, made the choice to take the place of the hostages, he said, addressing victims as relatives. Gerard Colum speaks to the press in the wake of today's supermarket siege. He hailed Beltrame, Harry Colum said the gunman, Redouane Lakhim, identified by the authorities as a Moroccan-born French national, had been monitored on suspicion of having been radicalized but had ultimately been deemed not to pose a threat. He was known to authorities for drug dealing and other petty crimes, but had also been under surveillance by security services in 2016-2017 for links to the radical Salafist movement, Paris prosecutor Francois Molin said on Friday, the lights of the Eiffel Tower in Paris were dimmed for midnight in memory of the victims of the supermarket attack after the Manchester Arena attack. The lights on the iconic landmark were also dimmed in respect for the dead in an interview in December with the local independent newspaper. Beltrame said he had taken part in an attack simulation in Carcassonne, Lakhim's hometown, that centered around a mass attack in a supermarket. A mass killing took place in a supermarket. 
This is the only information that was given to the police, he was quoted by the newspaper as saying, describing the simulation scenario, we want to be closer to real conditions, so there is no pre-established scenario, Beltram was a qualified parachutist who served for a spell in Iraq in 2005 and also worked as part of the elite Republican Guard that protects the French President's Elysee Place offices and residence in Paris, Macron said. French President Emmanuel Macron was informed by his security adviser about the hostage situation in Treps during an EU meeting masked police officers are pictured at the scene, where the hero officer took the place of a female hostage. The news of Beltrame's death was first announced France's interior minister. He said in a Twitter post, We will never forget his heroism, his bravery, his sacrifice. With a heavy heart, I send the support of the entire country to his family, friends and colleagues of the Gendarmerie of the Odd. Shortly afterwards, President Emmanuel Macron issued a statement saying he was deeply moved to learn of the officer's death from his injuries, he said of Beltrame, in offering himself as a hostage to the terrorist holed up in the Trebes supermarket, Lieutenant Colonel Beltrame saved the life of a civilian hostage, showing exceptional self-sacrifice and courage. In a statement shortly before dawn on Saturday, Macron said, he fell as a hero, giving up his life to halt the murderous outfit of a jihadist terrorist. The Islamic State group has claimed responsibility for the attack. Macron has said security services are checking that claim. More than 240 people have been killed in France in attacks since 2015 by assailants who either pledged allegiance to Islamic State or were inspired by the group. The Super U store was the first deadly attack since October 2017, when a man stabbed two young women to death in the port city of Marseille before soldiers killed him. France remains on high alert after a wave of jihadist attacks that has claimed more than 240 lives since 2015. Prior to the attack, Redouan Lakdim, believed to be of Moroccan descent, was flagged to intelligence services and appeared in a database of radicalized militants. He was also known to authorities for petty crimes including drug dealing. Lakdim was incarcerated in Carcassonne sometime in 2016, according to Le Parisien, though it is unclear what for. The paper also reports he was very active on Salafist networks online and was suspected of having made a trip to Syria, though it is not known when. Morning, Friday, March 23, Lakdim, who reportedly lived with his mother and three or four sisters in Carcassonne, is seen walking his little sister to school sometime before 11 a.m. Lakdim hijacks a car somewhere in his hometown. A passenger in the vehicle is shot in the head and killed while the driver is wounded before the terrorist drives away. Approximately 11 a.m., the attacker opens fire on four policemen jogging near the edge of town. One officer is wounded after being hit in the shoulder. Bullets also strike a nearby car, shattering the back window. Black Beam escapes in the stolen vehicle. Approximately 11.15 a.m., gunshots are reported at a Super U supermarket in the town of Trebes as Black Beam storms in, taking hostages. Two people are later shot dead, though it is unclear precisely when or why. French police initially say a dozen people are wounded, though uncertainty remained around the exact toll on Friday afternoon. Sometime before 2 p.m., a French policeman makes his way